Good morning, I'm Jennifer Eddy with your news for Jack's update. This morning, there are nearly 19,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 statewide and 446 deaths. In Northeast Florida, Duval County has 639 cases, St. John's County has 170, and there are 174 cases in Alachua County. This weekend, Governor Ron DeSantis is encouraging people to continue doing what they're doing. That means social distancing and continuing to stay home. The governor is expanding testing statewide. The the governor says anyone with coronavirus symptoms will be allowed to get tested at three government-run sites, including here in Jacksonville. Those who may be asymptomatic but have had close contact with confirmed cases can also get tested. On Monday, the Florida National Guard will take over operations at the Lot J testing site. The site is closed today for Easter Sunday. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating two separate officer-involved shootings this weekend. The first happened on Golf Air Boulevard shortly after 5 o'clock Saturday night. Police say a woman sliced an officer with a knife. Police say the officer ordered the woman to drop the knife, but she did not, and she charged the officer. That's when the officer fired. JSO says an off-duty officer also stopped to help and fired several rounds after the woman charged again. We are told that the woman died at the hospital. The officer is expected to be okay. The second officer involved shooting happened near Play Away and Caliente Drive. Police say the suspect was taken to the hospital and no officers were hurt. For the latest on these stories and any stories developing throughout the day, head to our website, newsforjax.com.